Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Christian. Today I want to help you guys out with something that I've never really spoken about before that I've had a little bit of resistance to speak about. Something that I've been res like avoiding talking about because it's been something that's something that I've been going through personally and it's like almost like I'm afraid to share this because I'm afraid of what people are going to say and think but now I've finally started to making these shifts that I talk about in my videos. I feel like now is finally the time I can talk about this stuff. And it's learning how to let someone go, learning how to let people go in life and learning to just realize the lessons that these people give you in life instead of just seeing them as mistakes and seeing them as screw ups and seeing it as instead seeing it as I can finally use what I learned from this and apply it to the rest of my life, knowing that I don't have to make that same, I guess not a mistake, but I don't have to do the same thing over and over again. Because I guess a mistake is causes the lesson, so it's not you don't have to make that mistake again. And the first thing I want to kind of help you guys out with is learn to bring the energy back into your own body. When we go throughout life, we kind of, at least for me, I've always been a people pleaser, so it's always like I've been putting energy into other people or giving everybody else my energy, hoping that they reciprocate it. And hoping that it's like um, all my value is like on this person to like really feel this way about me. And there's been multiple people like that throughout my life where it, it's like I put all this energy into it. And it's like, man, I hope it comes back. And it, it's like it never really has. And it's I've always just been pressing this out towards other people. And that's what I want to say right now is just learning to bring your energy back to you. And learn to just like, that's why meditation helps me so much. Because I can sit there and I can observe the thoughts. And I can bring my energy back to my own body. People can energetically feel when you're thinking about people, when you're thinking about them in a certain way. And they can kind of like, it almost kind of pushes people away when you're sitting there always constantly worrying about what someone's thinking. or always constantly worrying about someone's what they think about you. And it's it's not a great place to be. It's a very dark place. At least it was for me, like having to have all your value be on somebody else, on how someone else treats you. And that's the big the big part of it that's why i made it the, the first tip is bringing the, your own body bringing your energy back into yourself and realizing that you have always been the one that you were searching for you have always been the one that get it's like you are the one you know like everyone looks for like the one in life it's like you have always been the one and it's learning how to build yourself up and that's the next thing I want to get into is learning to build and improve upon yourself instead of focusing on what on a relationship or focusing on whether or not you'll end up being in a relationship or whether your focus is taking your focus off of that and almost because I mean you can't really stop feeling that way for for a period of time the best thing that works for me is transmuting it so it's like I have all this energy built up now that I can learn to bring it back into my body, it's like, what do I do with it now that it's all of it's here? It's like, now I can use it to improve myself. Now I can use it to focus on what I want my life to be like and learning to set my mind on that goal and make that my purpose. That's a great, that's, that's also a great way to feel like you're not wasting your life. That you're, you have a goal in life and you're working towards it. And you have something, you have, you're doing something that you feel passionate about. You feel like you're doing your purpose in life. That's a great way to stop feeling like you're wasting your life. And this is a great way to transmute that energy that's stuck in your body that you've learned to kind of bring back to you. And it's just learning to transmute that energy into something productive, something that can help you out in the future, something that you can use to create your future. And it's incredible because, you know, sometimes it's just learning how to shift your focus too. Shifting your focus away. I guess the best practical way to apply this, this kind of technique is learning to shift your focus shifting your focus away from this person and shifting the focus back onto you and back to what you want to be doing in life and working on yourself and working on creating your life and creating the future. And, you know, it's it, it, another thing I want to get to is like these people come into your life for a reason. It's not like that comes into your life just to constantly berate you and hurt you. It comes into your life to teach you something like the amount of knowledge that I've gained from these experiences in my life has given me incredible, incredible lessons that I can take throughout my life and I can know with certainty now that I won't make those same mistakes. You know, like those mistakes that you feel like you cringe really hard when you think about them, like when you feel like you're almost sick to your stomach and even knowing that you, you were even capable of doing that to someone or even thinking that way, you know, and to realize what you were doing energetically, like it almost makes you feel sick to your stomach and finally getting through that and learning how to see those as lessons and see like look in look in all these things and all those mistakes you ever made look at them and realize the lesson in them 
And if you can finally start to do that, you start to do that with all the things in life and you can start to really, really help yourself because that's what's really important here is helping yourself. On, and that deep down in the end, you know, like what they think and whether they appreciated you or not does not matter. The only thing that really matters is whether you appreciate you or not. Whether you actually have your own energy and you're able to keep it inside your body and you're able to, and that actually leads to even better relationships. I find that I, even, I find people throughout life now, now that I've been being myself and now that I have better focus on myself and better energy put back into me, I'm finding a lot more people who actually reciprocate because I'm not being so, you know, I'm not being that person anymore. I've learned that lesson and I've evolved as a person, you know, and it actually really helps you start to attract more and more things that actually reflect that. And I guess, it, I guess that's not really attracting, it's reflecting. You start to feel more love inside of yourself because I, that all that love was out here. I was, I was constantly putting it out here, hoping to get it back. But now that that love is back in here in me, it's like it's the world is a mirror of who you are. Replace the word attract and manifest and manifesting. Replace the word attract with reflect. The things that you see in life, the world does not respond to your wants and desires. It re responds to the ref what's inside of you. It reflects back to you what you are. And you can, once you can finally start bringing that energy back into you, you can reflect love. You can reflect all these things. It's abundance. All these things that you feel like deep down you know you're worthy of. You can finally start to reflect that once it's back inside of you. And that's all I think I wanted to get through today, guys, is learning how to shift that focus back to you, learning how to just be yourself again, and learning how to work through these things. It, it really helps, and it really helped me finally be able to start creating my future, to start living the life that I always feel like I, want, I could have lived now that I don't have this thing holding me back. I don't have to kind of get outside validation from other people anymore. Now it's just working on, I guess the new step in life is learning how to get validation from yourself. And that's the last thing I wanted to get through. I hope you guys got something from this. I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. I really like talking to you guys. I hope I would like to see like comments, like what are your guys' experiences? How, what, what have you gone through personally that you've learned from? I love to hear from that. I love to hear that stuff. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm filming this on a Friday. If, if you're watching it on Friday, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys back again on Monday, and have a good day.